with a bold quiver of his magnificent mustache, Mario let out a hearty sneeze. <laughs> a single grain of sand had flown along the warm wind and tickled the hero's nose. It wasn't long before Mario and Tippy found the source of the sand, the old desert. Along the endless sun-baked expanse, Mario and Tippy continued their search. Everybody, I am Marx the Crazy, and in the last episode, we explored the old town and we found this pixel hand thing that's following us now. And so, in this episode, we're gonna explore the desert. And already, we found some squidurps. Hello, squidurps. Oh no. This is a spade flower. You will be high. Not really high, but it'll make it seem like you're high. Die! No, die! Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. Did the right tree get the right tree? I don't want to be one, two, three, four. There we go. That's what I needed the speedy flower for, because jumping takes a while. Now I'll kill these guys normally. You two. I, I lost so much HP there. Run for your life! It's a zombie! What is this, Dawn of the Dead now? Zombies? Zombies? No, come back here, zombie. I, I murdered it. Anyways, basically you gotta explore a whole lot to actually find out that you had to jump under a red tree. But because I'm unprofessional like that, unprofessional, whatever, I just kind of skip that because I'm like that. I'm awesome. More flippy things! Yay! We're flipping! And that's gonna be really loud on your, um, your headphones. Why did this- Oh no, it's not another zombie! Zombie! Dawn of the Dead! Why are there so many zombies in this goddamn freaking- Okay then. There's so many goddamn zombies in this flipping desert thing. I'm sinking! What the heck, man? Oh. Hey, I'm not that funny. Anybody who says I'm funny is wrong. Anybody who says that I make them laugh is just pretending to say I'm making them laugh. I'm on to our little tricks. Come on! Oh my god, it is so lag right here. Thank you. No! Thank you! And we flipped some more. I am completely quiet today. You wanna know why? I woke up like really early. Well, not really, really early, but for summer break it was kind of early, like 8 o'clock. That's pretty early for summer. Oh! And I guess we have time to do this. Just enough time. Hit this block. Have I not hit a save block yet? Well, we go again, guys! You can learn how to use a safe lock again in the middle of a- Whoa, what the heck is happening with Tippy? Whoa, do you see that? Whoa, it's like I'm so entertained, I can just stare at her for hours! At a time. Grah, googly! So you're the lad that's gonna stash you in my boss's business. Oh, and you know who this guy is, obviously. He is, he is so strong. He can make the doors fall off the world. You shouldn't have crossed the count. Now I'm gonna have to get chunky with you. Okay, why did he kind of turn into a surfer? You, you're one of Count Black's thugs, aren't you? Oh, Chunk's my name. And I'm no common thug lass. I thug for the count of counts. Count Black himself. One word from Blacky Boy and I come to make... You feel some damage. Damage? Eh, I got damage. Totally red. Whatever then. Not that it matters. A pinch of stew and sandstorm, you're a goner. Do you even know what 
Count Block is trying to do? This was using a power or whatnot to bring back some order to this here world. An enemy of black, black, be an enemy of mine. They all get chunked. This of chunks is a lot scarier than the other enemies we've faced so far. Maybe you should use my power to investigate him when we start the battle. Enough is enough already. It's time for the thunderstorm to down from high and deliver a beating of ages. Chunk it on! Uh, so basically, he's like, you basically pick him up with your the row. Don't let him grab you because he'll like spin you around for like. Why do they throw him twice? Oh yeah, that's right. No, don't get near me. You might want to let him do that attack because he does that weird burp noise or whatever. You got like a chance to to attack. Like, uh, uh, see, he tried to grab me there. He tried to hug me. I don't want any hugs. Hugs from you are like hugs from. I'm gonna jump on him like that. Got ya! Ha ha ha! I got you. So, anyways, this guy's really easy. Um, he's like the very first mini boss of the game, obviously. But no, he grabbed me after I just said he was super duper easy. Okay, guys. Obviously, I'm making this game look a lot harder than it actually is, even for like level one. What the fuck? Oh, anyway, so... <laughs> I've made this game look like I'm either a complete retard, or I'm like, I'm chunked! Or I like, I made this game look like completely complicated. Me chunks, you failed me! I got pummeled on you barely sweat a brow. Eh? What kind of strange little man are you? This strange little man is none other than the legendary hero Mario. Mario, eh? He's a odd name yeah uh, name yeah but you bet you can bet your baby I'll remember it baby 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 his name's not Maria it's Mario or Mario yeah remember this Maria if you didn't look so much like a wee toddler I would have taken so easy on you but I have to get it up in an effort so let's call it a tie you better get some chunks on your own for next time, though, eh? Eh? And while you're at it, why not whack that bony stash of yours, Maria? Maria? Tell me that again! Chunks away! And with that, she farts into the distance. That is just so mystical, magical. I just love it. It's like the time I defeated Snorlax by accident in Pokemon Green, and it was all like. Snorlax flew gracefully towards the mountains. I don't even understand how he flew, but he flew gracefully towards the mountains. And that's all that matters. Anyways, I'll call this an episode right here, even though it's kind of short. So, in the next time, Super Paper Mario will explore the rest of the deserts and hopefully find those ruins that old man, watch it, told us about. So, I am Mark's Crazy, and my identity was stolen.